What's going on guys? This is James White with Freak Interviews bringing you as seen on TV product reviews, gadget reviews, and more. Now if you like what you see for this video, please consider subscribing for more videos like this. Now today I've got a comparison video which I like to sometimes compare different products and give my conclusion. This video will be comparing seven different ice cube trays. That's right, ice cube trays is today's comparison. They range in value from one dollar at the dollar store all the way up to this bad boy which is 29 bucks. So without further delay, let's get started. Alright, so let's take a look at the seven contenders and see how they stack up. First up, this is the dollar store tray. I've got a couple of these. I've been using them for a while. It makes 16 pretty good sized cubes and I found that they are pretty easy to get out of there, which I'll show you a bit later, and they are stackable. So for one dollar it's kind of hard to beat this one. Let's see if the others can actually knock this one off the cheapness pedestal. Now next up we've got this one. Packaging refers to this as dripless ice sticks. I picked this up at Bed Bath & Beyond, a two pack of these for five bucks. The selling point of these is they can actually drop into a water bottle so the shape is a little bit different. At about $2.50 a piece, these are the second cheapest per tray. Of course you have to buy two at a time. So here's the specs on this one. Alright, I got a three pack of these mini ice cube trays off Amazon. Mini ice cube trays are kind of a growing thing here. These make 60 per tray. It comes three trays. I kind of sifted through a lot of badly reviewed mini ice cube trays. This one was one of the higher rated ones so I picked this one up because people seem to like it. So here's some of the specs for this one. Now here's an interesting one. This is a honeycomb shaped ice cube tray. This came in a two pack. It makes 37 hexagon ice cubes. It's also got this lid here. It's kind of a silicone tray. So I thought this would be an interesting one. This is also pretty highly rated as well. It's a little bit smaller in person than I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be about a third larger than this. But that doesn't mean it's not going to work. So here's the info on this one. Alright, next up on the higher end of the range we got the $10 OXO. This one I picked up at Bed Bath & Beyond. Now the selling point of this one is that it has a lid that can make these 14 cubes in a spill proof environment. You can store it up to a 45 degree angle without it spilling. So I'll be curious to see how this one works. And here's the info on that one. Now if you've been watching my channel a while you know that I did the Ice Genie back in 2018 and this one really wasn't very impressive but I thought since I already had it I would compare it against the others and for those of you who haven't seen it you might want to check out my original review which I'll link above and if you don't want to watch that then just see how it works here compared to the others. But the Ice Genie is 20 bucks as seen on TV makes 40 small cubes and they're pretty small but it'll be curious to see how this looks against the other ice cube trays. And finally the one I'm most curious about is the Retro $29 Isonator which has a very familiar design. Most of you have probably seen something like this before but despite its extremely high price tag this one is actually pretty highly rated. It's stainless steel and it's a familiar old school design so I'm going to be curious how this one works. It doesn't stack. Obviously it doesn't stack because you couldn't stack anything on top of that. Without further delay, I'm going to get a measuring cup and start filling these up. First up is the dollar store ice cube tray. Now, I put the uh, amount as approximate because some people fill up more than others, so I'm just going to give you an approximate number of how much it holds, but that should give you a pretty good idea. All right, so that was about 14 ounces. Again, you could probably get a little bit more if you overfill it a little bit, but I think for each one to be mostly full, 14 ounces is the number for the dollar store ice cube tray. Next up, the dripless ice stick trays. Let's see how much they hold. All right, this one only held about six ounces. Only about six ounces, so not nearly as much as the dollar store one. But on the other hand, if this is conveniently fit in your water bottle, that may not make a difference. All right, let's try the 60 mini ice cubes. I would not normally fill them like this. This is just for demonstration purposes only. I'd probably normally do this over the sink. Now that looks a little bit overfilled to me. I'm gonna have to dump a little bit of this water out, but it looks like it got about eight ounces in there, and that's overfilled. I'm gonna guess it's probably take a little bit less than that, but 
slightly overfilled, we're gonna go eight ounces. I like these silicone ice cube trays with the lids because they don't spill quite as easily. I gotta work on my pouring game here. I'm a little bit off. All right, that one held about eight ounces, but the cool thing about this is you got this lid that will prevent spillage. But you have to kind of twist it when you pick it up. So was that gonna spill? Eh, no, it didn't. All right, sweet. So about eight ounces for this one. All right, time for the OXO here. Whoa. All right, it looks like the OXO held about 10 ounces of water. Now this one, you're supposed to run your hand along the, the top to seal it. You can store it without having to worry about spilling it. It's kind of a nice feature. All right, this is the Ice Genie. You guys may have seen my video of this. It's got a couple of views on it, but I wasn't really impressed with it, but let's try it out and see how it works alongside the other ice cube trays here. All you do is you put the center cylinder in here, fill around the edges, and then you have ice. All right, that held a whopping six ounces. Six whopping ounces. It has a lid, so hopefully you don't get freezer odors on it. So not a lot of, not a lot of capacity, six ounces, not too much. The lid's not easy to get on either. All right, and finally my $29 Isonator, which is the supreme example of luxury ice cube trays. The instructions say to fill it to one half to three quarters of the way up which I will do, and then we'll put them all in the freezer and see what's the best one. I would say that's about, about three quarters of the way up. This one held about 14 ounces, so on the higher end as far as volume goes, compare that to the Ice Genie, which is only six. So uh, this is gonna be on the higher capacity ice cube trays, but that's the last one to fill up. Now it's time for the freezer. I had to stack a few of them up. I don't think that's gonna be a problem, but we will just let these freeze, pull them out in a couple hours. All right, I've got all the ice cube trays in the freezer. So now it's just a matter of waiting to see which one comes out on top. Now, as far as the capacity goes, I'm kind of impressed with the dollar store and the Isonator. Those have the seem to have the most capacity on the opposite ends of the price spectrum. And then I'm gonna be curious about some of these other ones like the honeycomb one. How's that gonna work? The mini ice cube trays, it'll be pretty cool. So I can't wait to let these freeze and see how it goes. But right now I'm heading out with my son to do a video for his channel. Come back and check on these. See you a little bit, guys. All right, I think it's time to get the ice cube trays out of there and see how they look. Let's do it. Here's what we've got. They have ice cubes. But now the question is how easy are they gonna get out? That is what we're gonna find out next. Here we go. All right, now it's time for the final results. Let's check it out. First up, we got the dollar store ice cube tray. Let's see how it looks. Not too bad, really. All the ice cubes are good. How does it come out? Flawless, one buck, and that's what we got. These are the sports ice sticks supposedly fit into a water bottle. Let me grab a water bottle, actually. All right, let's see how this one works. Oh, we got, we got flying bits. That is the shape of the ice cube, interesting. Took a little bit of force. A couple of the cubes did not come out all the way. That one's broken in half. Let's see how it fits into this one of these water bottles. Pretty cool. I'm feeling it. It's different. Specialty use here. This is the one I'm really curious about. These 60 mini cubes, highly rated on Amazon. It looks like all the cubes are intact and everything. Let's try it out. All right, I got 58 cubes. Two of them are not coming out. Those two aren't coming out. Those look like those little gumdrop candies that people eat in the movie theater, don't they? Now it's time for the famous, not so famous, honeycomb shaped ice cubes. I'll be curious how that one looks. Oh, wow, look at this. Look at how it bends. It's much more flexible than I thought it was going to be. But they're not popping right out. They even have instructions with this one. Let's see what they say. Ah, uh, well, I missed one step. Just pat the bottom before taking them out. And it says to push the base to release the ice cubes. Do I have to push the base on every one of these? There's 34 of them here. All right, well, I think that's all of them. Interesting shape. 
Interesting shape. What do you guys think? Hexagon shaped ice cubes. I don't know. This one was a little bit more difficult to get out. Even pat in the bottom, like they said. I feel like I had to push almost each one of them out. But there's something cool about it, I guess. I like the no spill lid on this one. The no spill lid is cool. All right, now for the big leagues, a $10 OXO non spill lid. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, that was beautiful. Look at that. Perfect. Very nice. Picture perfect ice cubes. But will they come out? Wow, they just fell right out. There was no effort involved as far as getting these out of here goes. So nice big cubes. Very large cubes. Probably the largest cubes of the bunch. Now for my favorite and yours, it's the ASEAN TV Ice Genie. Now you're supposed to take the cylinder out of the middle. It just eases right out. This comes right out. Then you've got this little rice cake looking bottom. Now you're supposed to squeeze this. And you get your minuscule six ounces of ice that looks like that, which not impressive. I mean, look at that. That's, that's just not great. Not great. Ice Genie never disappoints as far as disappointing goes. It's always disappointing. Most of the ice is right here. I can't get out of there. For the grand finale, got the ice nader. They said to leave it out for one or two minutes. It's been probably close to six or seven minutes. So it should have no problem with this. In fact, let me get a close up all right, for the big reveal for the $29 ice cube tray. Uh. <laughs> well, let me hold it down here. There we go. All right. Well, it worked. Those are pretty massive cubes too. Look at the size of those things. More like a trapezoid than a cube, right? It holds the most ice compared to all the others except for the dollar store. I think it did work. I think it did work. Is it worth $29? I don't know about that. All right, so there's the ice cubes. $29, OXO, Ice Genie, the mini cubes. The hexagon cubes, the fourth bottle ice sticks, and the dollar store. Tell me what you guys think about that, and I'm going to give my final conclusion. All right, I think it's time to give my final opinion on this. And your opinion might be completely different. These are my opinions based on my experience with these ice cube trays. I'm going to rank them from seven to number one, and I'm not sure. Here we go. I think number seven at the bottom. You gotta go with the Ice Genie. Sorry, it doesn't make that much, and what it does make isn't very good. Most of the ice ends up on the bottom of that big ring. It's just, it's just not great. I stand by my original conclusion from my review last year. Ice Genie is certainly a distant number seven. Number six, I'm gonna go with the honeycomb shaped ice cube tray because number one, it isn't nearly as big as I thought it was going to be. And also, it seemed like getting them out is a little bit difficult, a little bit awkward. I just don't think that it, the type of cubes you're getting out of here is really that great. It seems like the quantity is too low. For number five, I'm going to go with the sports bottle ice cube trays because I don't think that they were really, it really wasn't that much. It was a little bit hard to get out of there. I just don't think that, unless you're using it for a sports bottle, and there's a lot of other type of trays that do this size, I just think that it, um, it really wasn't that impressive to me. Nothing terribly wrong with it, it just others were better. So number four. Sorry, $29 isonator, I'm gonna go with you. I think that it worked pretty well. It has a pretty high volume, but the price just kills it. If you could pick up one of these at a thrift store, one of the old school ones for a couple bucks, it'd probably be higher on the list, but for 29 bucks, forget it. I can't see justifying it when you can buy 29 of these for the same price. I think the $29 isonator is number four. For number three, it's kind of a tough one for me. I'm gonna go with the OXO. It worked pretty well. The cubes fell right out, and I like this kind of cool 
feature where it doesn't spill. For me, this 10 bucks for an ice cube tray is a bit much, but I think that it actually worked really well. If you like the idea of a non-spill ice cube tray and one that doesn't take much effort, you don't mind paying 10 bucks, this is the one to go with. By the way, I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. If you use a coupon, it's even less. All right, number two, I'm going with the mini ice cube trays. I think it's a cool design and most of them came out pretty easily. I just kind of like it. It's just kind of cool and it worked well. You get three of them for a pretty good price, so I think that number two would be the mini cubes. And that leaves number one. You gotta go with the dollar store ice cube tray. This particular one I got at a local dollar store. It holds most amount tied with the isonator and it was one buck and the ice cube trays plopped right out. You can't beat the cheap dollar store ice cube tray. Sorry to all you expensive competitors, but the dollar store's got you beat in this one. Have you guys used any of the ice cube trays featured in this video? Tell me what you think in the comments below. Please follow my social profiles for progress pictures videos as I go. And please subscribe for more product reviews from me, James White, Freaking Reviews.